Night Tips. To flash the bootloader on our Raspberry Pi, in my case I'm, I'm going to be using a Raspberry Pi 4, but it works with Raspberry Pi 4 and 5. Uh, you first need to download the Raspberry Pi imager. So if you don't have it, you have to go into the Raspberry Pi website and download it and install it. Once you have it installed, you open the application and this is what you're, you're going to see. You're going to need a micro SD card for the installation of the uh, network bootloader. It doesn't have to be that big, uh, it could be a small one. So put that micro SD card uh, into your computer and then you're going to choose that one. In my case, I have a 32 gig one connected to a USB reader. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go here into choose operating system. We're going to scroll all the way down to miscellaneous utility images. We're going to go for, in my case, Rabs Raspberry Pi 4. But if you have a Raspberry Pi 5, you will use the Raspberry Pi 5 one. So click on that and then you have several options. And we're going to pick the one that says network boot. So th what, it, what this does is that it flashes the uh, bootloader with the network booting enabled. So we're going to select that. Now that we have our uh, uh, micro SD card selected, then we can click on right, yes, and then it'll it'll um, erase our micro SD card and it'll write the contents of that um, bootloader and whatever files it needs to install that bootloader into our Raspberry Pi into that micro SD card. It's a pretty fast process because it's very small. It's not adding a lot of things to that micro SD card. We just wait a little bit here until it's done. And the important thing is that once you have that micro SD card ready, you can use it to flash the bootloader to any Raspberry Pi 4 or 5 Raspberry Pi that you have. As we can see, it has been written already. It's done, so we are done. If we go into the SD card, well, we don't see it now, but we saw for a moment that it had only a few files in there. So now this uh, micro SD card is ready for us to use it to flash a uh, Raspberry Pi. So that's going to be this part. And the next part, we're going to go and put that SD card into a Raspberry Pi 4. We're going to have it connected to our TV with an HDMI so that we can also see how do you know when it's done flashing. So, yep, let's get to that. Okay, so here we have the micro SD card that we flashed with the bootloader installer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this micro SD card onto this Raspberry Pi 4 that is just brand new. And I'm going to connect that to uh, the power. And I have my TV here that I'm gonna to use to monitor when that is done. So let us just connect this thing here and wait for it to start. So when it uh, installs, that uh, green light flashes when it's done installing. And as you can see here, we got a green screen. So that green screen means that the bootloader was successfully installed. So now uh, we should be okay to just unplug the Raspberry Pi remove that SD card and then reflash that SD card with something else that then we can use to build our network image that we're going to use to uh, boot that Raspberry Pi. I have removed the SD card from the Raspberry Pi. So now I want to validate that it tries to boot from the network, that when I um, put the power in, it tries to boot from the network when it cannot find the information on a SD card. So let's see what we get. All right, so here's the Raspberry Pi booting. And as you can see, it, it is trying both the network and the SD card. But since I don't currently have an image that it can use to boot, it just stays in that loop looking for a place to boot from. If we press the escape key, we can see more details as to what it is trying to do. You see that it's trying to do a GFTP search for the system to boot, but it cannot find it. So that's why it's in a loop trying to boot 
from the SD card and then trying to boot from the network. Okay, I have plugged the USB reader with the SD card inserted into my computer. Now we can see the files that were in that micro SD card. As you can see, it was very, very small stuff. It had a readme here telling you how to flash the EEPROM, which is the bootloader basically. It says, uh, power off your Raspberry Pi, put the SD card, power it on, wait 10 seconds, and that's it. And then the LED uh, will blink uh, forever, which is what we saw in the video, and then we should see like the green display if it was successful. And uh, yeah, so we have confirmed that. And here's all the files that you needed to do that to install the EEPROM. So now we don't need this anymore. I've already flashed all of the Raspberry Pis that I'm gonna use with this SD card, so I don't need that in there anymore. So we can go now, select that SD card, and we, we can erase it first. So we get back a normal SD card that we can use later. So let's just wait for it to finish. And it's done. So now if I go into File Explorer, I should see a regular SD card that has nothing in there. So now I'm going to flash the operating system for the Raspberry Pi 4. So I'm going to pick that up again and I'm going to, I'm going to use a custom image because I already have a custom image uh, that I'm going to use that has all the configurations that I like for my Raspberry Pi. So I'm just going to grab that one and I'm going to write that to the SD card and we'll just let it do its thing, flash all of that information into the SD card because then we're going to be using that SD card to create an image that we're going to be using in our network to boot the Raspberry Pi. So we're going to use all the file system from that micro SD card. We're going to send it into a network drive and we're going to have that drive available so then we can later boot the Raspberry Pi using that instead of the SD card. So let's just let it do its thing. We'll be back when it's done. All right, it has finished writing the image file to the micro SD card. So this SD card is ready to be plugged into the Raspberry Pi so that we can create that desired network image. So let's get to that. <laughs> 